Hi everyone, I'll show you the uh, hidden goodies inside of the KCHERK mobile here, it's in my uh, Dodge Durango. I took out the big stereo system, I uh, decided to put in a smaller stereo system. Normally, uh, right here I got my sub box uh, and an amplifier, I decided to take out the big one and put in something smaller so I can have some more available space. Um, right now I've just got the uh, speaker wire coming out here. Uh, it's bridged. Uh, been hiding all the wiring as best I can. Um, during goes, this is a really hot, hard spot to hide all the wiring without taking off this whole panel here. It's pretty large. Um, underneath here, in the compartment, I'll open it up. I have my ham radio APRS system, which is composed of a Radio Shack HTX 242. I've got a Bionix Tiny Track 2 unit right inside of here. It's the kit version. And for GPS, I've got a Radio Shack Digi Traveler, uh, which was originally for laptops, and I've modified it. Uh, it's a serial input into the Tiny Track module. Um, I've also modified the Digi Traveler. It's got three wires inside. Inside the uh, six pin connector there. I don't know if you can see. Uh, it's normally black as ground, brown as data, serial out for the NMEA GPS string, and then red uh, is changed now for got 12 volts going in and then a 5 volt uh, 7805 regulator inside there to power the GPS so I can run that without batteries or using the power plug here it's just a single cable makes it a lot easier and uh, the antenna from here comes out into the connector and up the pillar here and up to this five or, uh, quarter wave two meter antenna it's NMO through the roof mount. Um, I also put in a smaller just a little 200 watt per channel amplifier in here which is bridged. Uh, it's got four gauge power wire and I had to add another fuse to extend it a little bit. Um, got a 10 meter amplifier in here for when I use 10 meter and then hidden back in here is a two light uh, strobe power supply. Now previously I had the APRS plugged into this cigarette lighter plug here but I absolutely hate cigarette lighter plugs and sometimes I need to use that uh, so instead of plugging it in and unplugging it, I did that. Um, I need to still wire it up for the switched ignition input, but I ran out of relays doing another project, so I don't have any more 12 volt relays. So all that hides nicely inside of here. Not many wires showing. This will go right to the subwoofers when I put them back in here after this video. And I can easily take them out with just one wire. All the rest is hidden. And then I've got ground wire here. That's the best ground spot for it. And also, I have a uh, wheel and uh, wheel and tail and LED amber up there. And then up on the roof, for antennas, I've got the APRS 2 meter uh, CB and 2 meter quarter wave VHF for uh, voice. And then up in the center, I also have a dual band scanner NMO. I'll also be adding another probably scanner antenna and 900 megahertz antenna up to the front. So that would be it on my mobile for all the hidden goodies. Oh, I also uh, just recently put in a new power inverter down under this passenger seat here. So that's switched ignition input, and that's what I used my last relay for. So got to go get a couple more for the APRS. That would be it for my mobile, 73 from KCAGRQ.